Welcome back everyone, I am Zell, and that little guy down there is the Wee Knife Company Miscreant. And, uh, Miscreant, hmm, yeah, think about that one. If you don't know what a Miscreant is, Google that up, because it just fits something coming from Brad Zinker and Wee Knife Company. And this is a design collaboration between the aforementioned Brad Zinker and Wee Knife Company in definite Brad Zinker style and We Knife Company build. It comes across as just... Yeah, it screams Zinker, don't it? It does. And there you go. I mean, so let's look at the outside of it. We've got this kind of bronzy looking stuff with anodized holes where they've countersunk and anodized. They did not anodize the small ones, but they did the big ones. We got titanium screws as always. We got a nice good size lanyard hole here. And we have a tip up left or right pocket clip. That pocket clip will come out and will go on the other side of the knife. Standard we pivot with all that we goodness. And the cool thing here is weight. And we'll get the scale out because you guys probably aren't going to believe me if I try to tell you. So get that thing turned on. We'll even turn it around where you can read it easier. And we are on ounces. 2.79 ounces. How freaking cool is that? Let's change the units here. That's 395 carats. And 79 grams. Holy goodness, folks. That is a light knife for a... There, list this one as 4 inches in blade length. Now that is... Not the best thing. I wish they had cut that to 3.95. And I guess they can't because I'm getting 4.06. And I'm looking at stats in one place. Let me check real quick for you uh, in another place at the official Wee Knife website because they don't ever list at right on like that. Yep, it's listed as 4 inches on the Wii website, too. That's unusual, but there you go. It is a full 4-inch knife, and there's... It's a full 4-inch knife that weighs less than 3 ounces. Didn't we just... I'm going to look again, because I'm pretty sure we said less than 3 ounces. Because that... That's amazing. All right. So, let's look at our blade thickness here, and we've got 0 0.1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 5, actually, it was right at just a tick over 3 millimeter. Flat ground, swedged, got some nice square jimping right there, fairly office friendly, and, man, just really good looking. We have kind of a a belt finish there on the blade, a satin belt finish, uh, kind of, doesn't matter, I like it, looks good, uh, no two-toning though, it's all the same finish across the blade, and, you know, as always with we, we are ceramic ball bearings, ceramic detent, uh, titanium hardware, all of the good stuff. Let's do a little size comparison with a couple of our standards here. And uh, we have a well-used and loved Manix 2 uh, lightweight. And there is a RAT Model 1. I guess that's a limited edition RAT too, isn't it? Hmm. There you go. So it is a big, long pig sticker of a knife. But that is kind of the Brad Zinker way. Uh, you guys have seen the little Zinker I've got, which I don't have available to sh put on screen right now. But it's uh, it's still big for what it is. So there you go. And just look at that. So what is the best part of this knife? Well, let me grab a piece of paper here because we don't have another set of Levi's yet. That's all that's sticking up. And the best part of that is it doesn't exactly, really, being all squared off like that, look like a knife. But it is. 
less than three ounces, so you can stick this in the back pocket, a shirt pocket, if you got a deep enough shirt pocket. You can stick it about anywhere. It's got a really low profile flipper tab angled properly here. Not gonna be able to get your fingers unless they're really tiny down in there to the blade. I mean, guys, well, whenever something is designed in the Brad Zinker manner of design, there's only one thing that you need to be aware of. These designs generally have large holes in them. It's one of the ways Mr. Zinker and We Knife Company in this case make the knife as light as they do. And if you have really tiny fingers, you might be able to get your finger in there and cut yourself. Now you can see I'm being dumb and flipping my finger in and out of that hole and I'm not getting cut, but I do have little marks on the end of my pinky finger. So if you have little kids around, that is something to be aware of. Uh, you know, if, if I had done this, I might have skipped on that final hole, but uh, nah, it's all good. Just look how, I mean, look how well everything fits together. That is just absolutely beautiful knife design. We've got an internal stop pin back here, ceramic bearings, action is beautiful. Uh, look down here at our edge termination. That is edge termination perfection right there. It is just, well, whenever Brad Zinker gets involved in something, it's going to be good. You know it's going to be good. And We Knife Company and Brad Zinker don't let you down here. If this is your style of knife, I don't know why you don't already own one. Because if I remember right, whenever I looked, these things are $233.75 at Blade HQ. So that's probably the price they'll be just about everywhere. And uh, if it's your style of knife, this is, well, if you can have a 4-inch knife where you live, this is a better knife than any other production knife. Uh, Brad Zinker style design that has come out by far. Uh, even the ones from Drop. I, I know they're smaller. The dog tooth is what, a three and a half inch knife or so? But uh, wow. I'm going to be enjoying this thing and I probably will send this one off to the pass around group for everybody else. But for me, whenever it does get back, I'm going to enjoy this one for sure because that is just well look at it brad just has this simple way that he designs things that is so elegant and makes so much sense you guys have a wonderful day don't forget to like share and subscribe check out the miscreant from brad zinker and we knife company and uh, if you are a fan of brad's designs you should already own this it's it's just probably if you don't have a brad zinker custom it is probably going to be your favorite zinker have a great day guys i'll see you next time